It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jose Barrios is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? You know, one of the things that sticks out, Matt, he has one of the best breaking balls in the business. It's a big sweeper. It's almost a slurve, a hybrid between a curveball and a slider. His velocity has improved. He's in the mid to upper 90s. But Barrios' game revolves around that breaking ball. If he has his good one, it's going to be lights out. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. And we are set for baseball here this evening. And we are underway from the Twin Cities as the first pitch of the evening is taken for ball one. First pitch, 7-10. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. Good night for baseball all in all. Game time temperature, 63 degrees. Now the 2-0. Down Whoa, low, and down. the plot thickens here. 3-0. and Yeah, a little wild here early on. Doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet. Hopefully, he can find it soon. This is foul right side. Hey. And it's up to a 3-2 full count we now. Three and two. And he lays off, ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Scope gets his lead at first, nobody out. That is fouled away, one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one, one is offered at and missed. He chased two it for strike. strike two. And he fouls this one off. The one, two. And the slurve can't in the zone, and it's two and two. You can bet the are taking note that the guy on the hill is working along at bat like the first can reveal a lot. Two, two. You won away, but it's a full count. A three and two. This pitch. He's, he's not even through of what you throw in. At bat. Count two. Which is completely during this six balls has to be put him away. And that's in base hit. Hold up and with two now. Third, a left fielder, number eight. Mosman hey. and left it here is strike Take out in a big way. For his close four.
deliver one and way. Fouled off. He tracked down. But he catch your eye. Well, Matt, Jonathan Scope. On just in good pitching. We'll see here. At the plate, Nico Goodrum as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Astadio is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Batting fifth, the right fielder, number 15, Nomar Two on, Mazzara. two out, and that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Tigers strand a pair. Tigers nothing. Twins coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Matthew Boyd, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that throws, I call it a sweeper. It's kind of a big, it's a hybrid between a slider and a curveball. It's a big sweeping breaking ball. And if he has a good one, you'll see lots of swings and misses early on. Into the box, Byron Buxton. Leading It'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Byron Buxton. The pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side and no one will track it down. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hey if he's going to execute that curveball and that's the first one of the day if he's going to execute it like that. Be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Now a curveball misses inside. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Boy that's really disappointing for a guy that has the wheels right. Baseman. All he wants to do Jump. is get on base and take advantage Double, of sir. the strength of his game which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's the third baseman Josh Donaldson. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 15 long balls and 42 runs batted in. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 2 now. Boyd has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he lays oh, off a fastball too low for ball one. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Hey. 
right. And this is poured in at the letters. Two and one now. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Mitch Garver would be next. The 3 1. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that's a home run into the top tank. A solo home run from Nelson Cruz, number 22 on the year, as the Twins take a 1 0 lead. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. To the plate now, Mitch Garver. The catcher. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Wind up and the 0 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. But not before the Twins get one, and it comes on this solo home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 1-0 Minnesota. At the plate now is Akil Badu. He'll lead it off here against Jose Barrios. Akil Badu. And now the first pitch. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Now the 2 1. Three balls, one he walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. The 3 and 1 pitch. Hey. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The next 3 2. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Tigers as their leadoff hitters on base. Leadoff knock right there, Dan. How frustrating is it to let that leadoff guy get on? Well, every pitcher, you want to get that first guy out, D. Roy. The chances of scoring runs are so much more slim when you get that first guy out. Traffic on the bases, now you have to pitch out of the stretch. It's never easy for the pitcher. And a dive, but he's back in there. Stepping in now, Willie Castro. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And he watches one miss outside 2-0 now. And there are our umpires for this one. 
Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. 3-0 and to him now. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. In now, Victor Reyes. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's a guy who could use a three for four. He's got that batting average still down in the 190s. Two home runs and six RBIs. The 0 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. And he popped him up. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. No, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. The 0-2 once more. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one and that's into the corner a foul ball in right. Fouled away. The next 0 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Here's Jonathan Scope now. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Badu on second. Castro at first, two out in the inning. And it's two and one to the Tigers' leadoff hitter. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Here's the two one. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. Hey, without question, he got him leaning out over right there. Four pitches away, I'd be diving out over the plate as well, and then he dominates him on the inside corner. Nice pitch. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way, and that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. Well, the beat goes on with this guy, runner in scoring position. No doubt when he comes up, he's thinking RBI. What does he do? Double the drive and another run. This guy is a money, money run producer. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He collected a base hit his first time up. Well, 
this will be pulled in out there at second base and that'll be that. Tigers strike for a run on this RBI double. We'll go to the bottom of the second all even at one apiece. So now here is Luis Arias set to lead off the home half of the second. The second baseman. Luis. Oh, oh yeah. Now the first pitch. Count one and zero. And two and zero now as this misses below the knees. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. There's the two one home. And he fouls this one off. And this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. Driven the other way but caught down at third. Needed that one to be a few feet higher and the leadoff man is gone to start the home second. Time for a look at the Tigers on D. And let's focus on Wilson Ramos. He's an absolute brick wall behind the plate and if you miss middle over the heart of the plate he could turn around with a three run bomb. Standing in now Jorge Polanco. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He comes in at 262 on the year, 14 homers and 48 driven in. The 1 0 home. Polanco is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. And in today's game, Matty. This is such a lost art. I know you love this one. Guy dropping a drag bunt down for a knock, putting him up, putting him down, getting down to first baseline, definitely sets the tone for the team. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The wind up and the 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Grossman is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. The love of the game runs deep with these folks. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Well Matt during the break I caught up with the Tigers manager to discuss his thoughts on Detroit's offense and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. Yes they've only scored one run but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff Heidi thanks. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Robbie Grossman. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and zero. Oh. Two and zero oh to the Tigers' left fielder. Wind up the 2 0 pitch. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2 and 1. 
Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So with one away let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. Next for the Tigers Nico Goodrum flew out in his only at bat so far. Pitch on the way. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit and it's one and one. The pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in. Jacoby Jones will have to get loose in a hurry now as he'll come in and run following the injury. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. Behind on that wind in the count 0 and 1. From the stretch. Oh and look out as this runs in and gets him the second man he's plunked in this one. <laughs> Hitting guys back to back umpires don't have much patience for that kind of thing whether it's intentional or not and neither does the team that's getting plunked. Into the box now a kill Badu as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball one and all a base hit in his first trip. home is laid off but in there for strike one. Hey I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in we'll take it. From the stretch. Jones over at second. Mazzara is over at first with one away. Opposite field to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. The bat, number nine, shortstop, Willie Castro. So the next to bat will be Willie Castro. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Here's the first pitch. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. Two men are on with two men out. And it's fouled away. A pause and the 0 2 lifted the other way down the left field line. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Definitely an aggressive approach here down 0 and 2 in the count. Instead of shortening his swing and protecting the plate, he takes a big rip and is able to drive it deep for a couple of bases and an RBI.
at the plate, Victor Reyes. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Struck out in his first at bat. Comes set, the 0 1. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Donaldson at third. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the third coming up, and Detroit's taken a 2 to 1 lead. Jones is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Digging in will be Williams Ostadio. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Line drive to center field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Twins put their leadoff hitter on to get the inning started. Batting done. The first baseman, Max. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat, hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. First pitch of the AB on its way. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider the right there. Fielder, the best 25. ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. Buxton. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's Byron Buxton now, nope. and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1 and 0. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Lays off the pitch up and in ball two. Two and one after the foul ball there. Swing and a miss there, and it's two and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff now single into scoring position. Baseman. Yeah, clearly Jones. no problems working out of the stretch Jones. right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Josh Donaldson digging in now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0 home. That one's going to find the seats. One. Astadio is off of first with two away. One and two. 
I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay. They're just being way too aggressive. The one two. swing, and he takes this the other way to in the base hit. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. This might be that slump. Hard hitting here, just it's using the field instead of trying to do too much. The result helps. Here's Nelson Cruz now. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He launched one over the wall, back to the opening frame. Comes the one. Here's the ball. Quickly down lead one. A two to one score. Three. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The set and the two one. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. You know, this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs. So when you've got a chance like this to put some early runs on the board, it becomes really important to do so. He set the 2-2. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Scope is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Twin strand a pair. They're down 2-1. All set for the start of the fourth. And next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Jamer Candelario. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. He's right there. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The batter has accepted. Second baseman, Jonathan. Back to the top of the order now, and that means Jonathan Scope will get ready at the plate. And now the first pitch. A bouncer to the left side. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The catcher, number four, Wilson Ramos. Base is empty, two away, and next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. First pitch coming, here it is. Lays off 1 0. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have 3 4 5 due up to start the next inning. The 1 0 home. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. Now, with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 and 0. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Into the windup and the pitch. That one's in there, three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Next up for Detroit, Robbie Grossman. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First delivery to him. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. 
Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that, that's off the end of the bat, that's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. 0 2 count, you could do just about anything you want right now up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Working for the punch out and the offering. Weekly hit to third. Scooped up, and as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for Detroit as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Thank you, Heidi. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, Mitch Garver. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. One and two to the Twins catcher. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, no he matter. hasn't Number walked two. anyone either. He's second just pounding base, the zone. His stuff Louis. is dirty today. Oh, oh yeah. That'll bring up Luis Arise. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. One run on three hits and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. On the ground softly towards second. Fielded cleanly on to first and there were two down. How about it? Shortstop. Hey. Up next for Minnesota. Build a empire this a see how far go in or out. He can't himself to look in again. He's up and that ends the down the twins in order. They still trail it here two to one. Jacoby Jones, the next to hit. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Now here's the pitch. In there for strike one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go. And 
And another foul ball. Two three called. Next, I'm up. I'm up a little. Some extra up and get left center. Astadio will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The the center fielder, Akil Badu. Up next, Akil Badu. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. One and oh, the count. Now here it comes. Oh. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here. These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Got his 2 0 fastball but he was way behind 2 and 1. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Man hard to understand why a guy who runs so well would take such a big hack like that one. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Two and two count. Here it comes. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Astadio gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. They lead it two to one. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jake Cave, and they could use a spark from him here. The designated hitter. Jake. Now here's the first offering. Okay. Nope, a ball and a strike. Fouled away. Grounded to short. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The batter, the left fielder, Williams. Now with the plate is Williams Ostadio, one for one with a single so far. First offering on its way. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Two and zero oh to the Twins left fielder. Now the 2 0. He has taken strike one. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's 2 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the, the other way. So now to the plate, Max Kepler, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. That even 
opens it up one and one. Astadio, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And he fouls this one off. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. So that will bring in Byron Buxton. He went down on strikes last time up. Buxton. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One zero count. Here it is. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The two zero. Three and zero now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Hits are now even at four apiece. Buxton ahead in the count, three balls and a strike. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game when guys get count leverage and take fastballs. It's a game of fastballs. You calibrate everything off the heater. Surprising take right there. Set. Here's the 3 1. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Five innings complete. It's the Tigers 2 and the Twins 1. Matt Shoemaker takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. And now here is Willie Castro. He'll do battle with a new arm out there in their half of the sixth. Now the pitch. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Now the 0 1. Hit down the third baseline. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. He'll get it into second. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double. So a costly mistake here leading off the okay. inning. Into the box, Victor Reyes. As he'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Wind up and the 0 1 on the ground to the right side. Reined in. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he'll reach it first. This is a head scratcher. I mean, that's the shortest throw on the infield, and somehow he lets it sail wide of the mark for an E4. A couple more like that, and doubt starts to creep into the second baseman's mind. Throw over to first and a dive, but he's back. The next batter is Jamer Candelario. In the dirt here, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. in there and it's even at one. Brother! 
Lunders on the move for second. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Stepping in now, Jonathan Scope. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. And it's 0 and 2 to Scope. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit on the ground to short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Tigers leave one. They still lead it two to one. And now in the box, Josh Donaldson. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, that pitch is out. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And it's fouled away. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Great situation right here leading off the inning. you got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone I want you swinging. And that one misses so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Well these guys have had a hard time making contact all game long racking up a bunch of K so that's their first walk of the game. We'll see if that gets them going a bit. Set and the pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. To the plate now, Mitch Garver. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, and that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to think. You have to eliminate the noise, Dan. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. He's set. Here it comes. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. The one one. All 
Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed strike three. Next to stand in is Jorge Polanco trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off there 1 0. Obviously, a huge situation in the game here. But at the plate, he's got to keep it simple. He can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very least, just find a way to get that tying run home from third. One and one to count. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back -back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate, and he will make it back to third safely as he didn't have much of a chance at advancing that time. Three and two now. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Now the payoff pitch home. Full count still. Candelario trying to get there, and this is going to be a foul ball. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled off. Three two with the bases loaded. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Once again, a 3-2. Takes this the other way to right. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And they'll tie the ball game as the run scores, evening things at two. Boy, what a battle there, D. Rose. Several pitch at bat right there. He threw everything but the kitchen sink, and he was still able to get an RBI base hit. And, Dan, I can't tell you, the longer the A-Bs go, usually, I'll tell you, you get in that swing mode where if he throws the rosin bag, you're pulling the trigger on it. Wait for him to settle in his zone and not come outside of it and end up getting a knock. Gregory Soto is called upon to pitch really needing that double play ball bases are loaded here with only one man out at the plate now Jake Cave. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Mazzara has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Now batting, left fielder, Williams. That'll bring in Williams Astadio. It was a base hit last time up. First pitch of the A.B. now as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. So important getting ahead with the base is already a difficult situation. So you don't want to make it any harder by falling by. Pitch swung on and toward the line in right. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night.
the base hit. The tag. They'll get it. Side is. Catcher Wilson. Always a pass trying to rally back late in this game. A leadoff runner on base right here. The go. It's ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Chop foul. And then out. Into the one. a lot of balls off so as a pitcher it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off standing in now Robbie Grossman as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike he's hitless in three at bats to this point Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate for him to take those first two pitches right there finds himself 0 2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is under this one and that's out number two. Now batting third baseman Jacoby. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jacoby Jones. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. First offering on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick outs, D roll, then you give up a two out base hit to extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an AB, no chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at bat, every plate appearance. Nice job, maybe a little two out lightning start. So they'll go to the bullpen now and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. So now to the plate Nomar Mazzara as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. No hits to this point. Just foul. Mm 
Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Detroit. They trail it here, four to two. Now it'll be Max Kepler. He'll try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. The first baseman, Max Kepler. Here's the first pitch. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who likes to work the big part of the field, you are on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet 6 inches. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And the pitch. And the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, now and it batting. seems we're Better seeing that a lot more these Fire days. Run. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Into the box now, Byron Buxton. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. It could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Wind up and the 0 1. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4 2 our score. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. That's the third time in this game he's Come gone on. down on strikes. The Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Stepping in now, Josh Donaldson. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Talk about certain guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scope is there, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Nothing across here this half. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Twins four and the Tigers two. Ready to begin the eighth, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Akil Badu. And now the first pitch. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. The 1-1 one, one is high and outside for a ball. I got two on the count.
to two and two now. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Three two pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep maybe trying to take it the other way but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. To the plate now Willie Castro as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Buxton is there now and he has it to gone. Now that designated hitter, Victor Reyes. Tyler Duffy enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Victor Reyes will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. The pitch. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Two out, nobody on. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. Swing and a miss, strike two. I know closers are known for having the nastiest stuff on the team. Exploding fastballs, devastating off speed. But they'd be lying if they didn't say they wanted a two-run, three-run lead. That's exactly what this guy has a chance to do. Hand it to that monster in the ninth with a two-run lead. And a sinker called strike three as he's rung up and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers still down by a count of four to two. Bottom of the inning now and that'll bring up the outfielder Nelson Cruz. The right fielder Nelson Cruz. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Ball, that's From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. The knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Still even at two and two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit count remains full he'll try it again three and two now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field Badu is there and he makes the catch for the out good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. The next twin up, Mitch Garver, singled in his last at bat. First pitch of the AB on its way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Now 
And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, one and one. Now here's the pitch. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Getting late, 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. This is hit softly to third. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. No matter, number two, second baseman. Luis. Next, it'll be Luis Arias, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed. Strike one. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. And it's fouled away. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. In comes Mazzara. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Twins are set down one, two, three, but they still lead this one four to two. Taylor Rogers comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Jamer Candelario will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Sinker and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0 and 2. Here it comes. You know, something to keep in mind. They're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Now here's the pitch. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Sharp ground ball to third. Right to Donaldson. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jonathan Scope. 
He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering. Nope. The one zero. -oh. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2 and 0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. Now here it comes. Oh, and he clobbers this one, but this is going to be a foul ball as it clears the wall. One out, nobody on. Two and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The 2-2. Two -two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these now days, bad. but it doesn't the make it good. any less impressive no to me. I love oh. watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. At the plate, Wilson Ramos, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 0-1. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Scooped up. Throw on to first here is going to do it, and the Twins will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Four to two, the final score tonight. Minnesota wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Matt Shoemaker wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Taylor Rogers wraps it up for the save, his tenth. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.